Okay, so this is my second video on parabolas, and that's what I did in my first video. And uh, we're gonna sort of extend that out. And so right now we're on graph paper, before I wasn't on graph paper. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a set of axes. Okay, so we've got a set of axes, and we said that uh, we need a fixed point, we need a directrix. And we need a focus. Now, I'm gonna start off really, really simple. So we're gonna make my focus zero, one, and we're gonna make my directrix y equals negative one. So I take this, and I go, this is negative one right there. This is positive one right there. And at negative one, we're gonna make our fixed line, which is our directrix. And up here, we're gonna make our fixed point which is gonna be our focus. And then halfway between them, and I've made it really, really simple um, on this one. So halfway between the focus and the directrix is the vertex. So there's my vertex. And in this simple example, my vertex is at zero, zero. And it won't be zero, zero in, in all my videos. Okay, now this, this key here, this lattice rectum, this is really, really, really important. Because what this says is that, basically I take this distance here and I crank out that distance and that distance and that gives me two points on my parabola. And so then I've got three points on my parabola and I can start to draw it. So there I've got a point on my parabola and there I've got another point on my parabola. Now freehanding parabolas is pretty difficult. I kind of want this overall shape like that. So I want to start off horizontal and then I want to go up and I, I think it helps me to do it this way. Something like that. And then... I should have come a little bit deeper like that. Okay, and so there's my attempt at drawing a parabola. So now, if we look, we're going to say that this distance here is P, and on this example, P equals one, and I've got this uh, equation for P Y minus K is equal to x minus h squared. And in this case, p is equal to one, uh, and then h comma k, which is the vertex, is going to be, that's going to be zero, zero in this case. So the equation of this parabola here, this is y, this is four y, 4y equals x squared. Pretty simple one. Okay, so we can choose some points. That point there is the point negative two comma one. And so if I do four times one equals negative two squared, I get four equals four, which is correct. 
And then I kind of look at another point that I can sort of find and I'm looking for a good crossing. Um, there's not a lot of good crossings. I'm gonna call that one more or less. So again, this is just, I freehanded this, so this is gonna not be exactly accurate, but we'll just have to see. So that's the point. One, two, three, two, 2.75. And that's one. One, two, three, four. So that's negative 3.5. Okay, so now I do 2.75, four times 2.75 is equal to three point, negative 3.5 squared. Well, let's put these as fractions. So that's going to be 2.75 is going to be 8 fourths plus 3 fourths. So that's going to be 11 fourths times 4 equals 11. And then that's going to be 7 halves squared. So that's going to be 49 over 4, which is going to be 12.25. So I'm off a little bit, as I would expect, because I freehanded it. But there's my parabola, and that point is approximately equal on the parabola, um, but not exactly, because I just drew it freehand. Okay, so then in the next video, what we're gonna do is we're going to look at um, parabolas that are flipped. We have upright, down, right, and left.